Class six, lesson number one. The name of lesson. It all began with drip drip. Writer by Alka Shankar Evans and Salin Makandan. Alka Shankar is an author of repute. Her well-known book is The Mighty and the Mystical Rivers of India. Extic India. She is famous for her children's books. Salini Mukundar is a renowned children's author. She has written Muthia, the storybook, in collaboration with Alka Shankar. Let's start the lesson. A tiger was caught in the storm. He had wandered near the village looking for something to eat. In the outskirts of that village lived an ill-tempered old woman. The tiger huddled in shelter close to the wall of the woman's hut. The old woman was feeling very ill tempered that night. The rainwater was leaking through the roof. There is no escape from this deep deep. She muttered angrily, pushing her bed around the room to keep it dry. She shoved the bed and a tin trunk against a wall. The wall shook. This deep deep will be the dead of me, she shouted. The tiger on the opposite side of the wall felt the wall sick and was frightened. The deep deep must be a very dreadful creature, he thought. Meanwhile, Bholenath, the potter was out in the night, looking for his donkey in the storm. Suddenly he saw an animal halt in the dark against the wall of the woman's heart. There is my donkey, Bholenath shouted, and running to the tiger, grabbed it. He pulled the tiger's ears. Move, you lazy donkey, or I will give you a hard time. The tiger was rea really frightened. This must be the terrible trip trip, he thought. Bholena dragged the tiger home and kept him. Tried by study, rope to a tree near his hut. In the morning, Bholena's wife discovered the tiger tied to the tree and screamed in fear. Hearing her, the neighbors came running out of their hearts. Bholenath was sleeping, he came out too. The people was all mystified. Who tied this tiger to the tree? They asked. A nearby said, I think Bholenath can tell us. I saw him last night dragging an animal through the storm. Bholenath was too frightened to admit his mistake. Everyone looked questioned, kneeling at Bholenath. In the mean, meantime, the tiger disturbed and confused by all the people had chewed through the poop. It ran away to the jungle. The villagers were relieved. Bholenath now the now saw an opportunity to brag.
it is i who captured the tiger last night i even pulled its ears polerath announced proudly everyone marveled at his bravery soon the news of bhulenath's bravery reached the sink king the king was highly impressed he made bhulenath the commander in chief of the king's army bhulenath and his wife were given a huge house to live in a few months after that evening news came that a nearby king has declared war bhulenath and his king gathered at the royal court the king told bhulenath you are the commander in chief of my army i entrust you with the duty of protecting my state bhulenath came back home in other despair i don't even know how to ride a horse he told his wife hey, helplessly how will i defend our borders against 8000 enemy soldiers don't worry his wife said i will try you to the horse in the morning the king sent bhulenath a magnificent stallion bhulenath got up glamming on the horse and his wife secretly tied him to it with a rope the horse did not like the feel of the tight ropes it reared suddenly and glabbed up wildly bhulenath hung desperately to its mane realizing that the horse was headed straight for the enemy camp bhulena shouted in here the horse could not be stopped bhulena reached up to grasp the branches and pull himself free but the branches broke away in his hands the horse had entered the enemy camp the enemy soldiers were asked ni sort to see wa a wild looking man tied to a fierce stallion waving branches excitedly help help bhulenath was shouting the enemy soldiers did not hear him they were greatly scared this must be some great warrior come single hand handedly to defeat us the soldiers were overcome with fear and instantly ran away without putting up a fight soon the news of bhulenath's great victory spread everyone was amazed that he had defended his state all by himself against 8000 enemy soldiers the king avoided him in a public ceremony ceremony bhulenath became a legend it all had started with a drip drip